In this video, I'd like to provide an update on the recent customization of Nolvis and introduce some additional mods that could complement the current Nolvis mod package. Certainly, when modding based on the Nolvis mod package, it becomes much easier to create a truly stunning Skyrim. Imagining a future where more mod packages emerge to delight players further adds to the excitement. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, there's the Open Animation Replacer. Currently, Nolvis manages condition animations based on Dynamic Animation Replacer, DAR. I've opted to replace it with Open Animation Replacer for easier animation confirmation and condition value modification through its UI. Of course, you can uninstall DAR when installing OAR without any issues. I've also installed Cabbage ENB. Personally, I find that it complements the atmosphere of Nolvis exceptionally well. Especially, the fog effects in Nolvis are already impressive, and through ENB, they are further enhanced, providing a fantastic color palette and an enjoyable Skyrim experience. Next up is Wheeler. While iEquip, the hotkey mod originally used by Nolvis, is excellent, I opted for Wheeler due to its minimal script usage. Wheeler allows for immediate hotkey assignment of items from the inventory, even during combat, making it my preferred choice. One-click power attack is another addition. With its absence in the original Nolvis, combat based on modern combat overhaul, MCO, was inconvenient. Installing one-click power attack resolved this issue. I've also included alternate conversation camera for a more dynamic dialogue experience, focusing on close-ups of my character and the conversational partner. Additionally, I added the Camera Noise SKSE plugin to introduce screen shaking for added immersion. Since the original Nolvis lacked dynamic block hit, I added Maxu block overhaul and dynamic block hit. Dynamic block hit introduces various block stagger effects during combat making it an essential addition for a more realistic experience. Dynamic Sprint is also added to implement more dynamic motion sequences when sprinting. Both Dynamic Block Hit and Dynamic Sprint are personally recommended mods, operating basely with the previously mentioned Open Animation Replacer. Additionally, I've introduced one male and one female follower. For the male follower, I've added Gore, Gore is a I'll follower found west of Falkreath, featuring going. custom voice acting. This male character, sure. adorned with He's stylish long fish. hair and a beard, has been outfitted in infantry armor. I believe he makes for an excellent male follower, fitting well into the fantasy realm of the game. As for the female follower, I've added Seravi's Olivia. Personally, I wanted to include an elven female follower, especially one reminiscent of the elven sorceress featured in the Elder Scrolls Online trailers. Fortunately, with ESO Altmer armor already present in Nolvis, I added Olivia as a follower and equipped her with the ESO Altmer armor. You can encounter Olivia in Windhelm within the city walls. Next is the Look What You See mod, which allows the character's gaze to follow the camera direction, providing a more natural look. I added this to address the absence of this feature in the original Nolvis. I replaced Nolvis's ZX Lice Potion animation with Ultimate Animated Potion. This choice was motivated by Ultimate Animated Potion not requiring an ESP plugin and offering more stylized and improved potion animations. Recently introduced, Sidekick is Healer is also added. This mod equips the Mara's Dogma item to a follower, turning them into a healer. It enhances the follower party system by allowing them to cast healing spells on the player or other companions during combat. Additionally, party combat parameters are adjusted to display follower interfaces, featuring portraits of each follower below my interface. This upgrade adds more RPG elements to the gameplay. To apply the follower interface, I've chosen the Edge UI interface mode, still in development but considered visually appealing. PC head tracking is integrated to diversify the character's voice based on different situations, emphasizing the importance of sound elements. Heal's sound, surprisingly absent in the original Nolvis, is manually added. 
Some outfits, especially from Coco, often require heels sound, allowing for a broader selection of outfits with varied sound effects. Additionally, I added the Dragonborn voice over mod. Personally, I was a bit surprised that it wasn't already included in Nolvus. Dragonborn voiceover allows the player character to output actual voice during dialogues. I integrated Dragonborn voiceover and Bella's voice to have my character's voice play during interactions with NPCs. Furthermore, I included Classic Sprinting Redone. While it's not mandatory, it's still a good addition. Classic Sprinting Redone changes the sprint mechanic so that the character only sprints when the sprint key is pressed. In systems like SE, pressing the sprint key once makes the character continuously sprint, which I didn't prefer. I opted for a sprint system more similar to LE, where the character sprints only when the sprint button is held down, achieved through Classic Sprinting Redone. I also installed Better Jumping, enhancing the character's jump height and enabling double jumps. Better Jumping improves various aspects related to jumping, and I found it to be a valuable addition. Additionally, I added Double Jump, Parkour in Skyrim, based on Better Jumping. This mod allows for more dynamic jumping, enhancing the character's ability to navigate Skyrim with a greater sense of agility. Moreover, I've added several creature mods. While the creature mods included in Nolvis were already excellent, I decided to include a few more. Particularly, I've added Fourth Unknown's Goblins and Ogre Minotaurs, along with Mihail's Goblin Ogres and Skeletal Revenants. Skeletal Revenants, in particular, is one of my favorite creature mods. It introduces various skeletal undead to Skyrim, with skeleton soldiers being powerful and unique as they utilize humanoid skeletons, allowing for the application of MCO movesets. Following Skeletal Revenants, I've incorporated Skaven of Skyrim to introduce Skaven creatures, so please take note of that as well. Lastly, I've included Skyrim Outfit System Revived. While not mandatory, it allows for a more polished aesthetic by fixing the character's outfit appearance, offering a solution to issues like mismatched gear or inability to wear helmets for certain perks. It's a recommended addition for those who appreciate a more customizable appearance while exploring the diverse landscapes of Skyrim. In conclusion, we've explored various add-on mods to enhance Nolvis. I hope this video contributes to improving your Skyrim experience. If you found the video helpful, please subscribe, like, and turn on notifications. Donations through Patreon greatly support video production. I look forward to bringing you more exciting videos or live content in the future. Have an enjoyable time in Skyrim.